Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at the break and <coughs> continue statement. So the break and continue statement allows you to essentially, actually I'll just demonstrate it. So we've got this while loop, if I clear the screen, run it, um, it prints 0 to 9. Pretty cool stuff. I'm just going to do one little change. I was going to put this before it just works better with the continue statement. And if I run that, we get 1 to 10, and that's because the implementation is happening before the, you know, before the echo statement. Okay, so if we're, we're going to put an if statement. So we're going to do, what we are going to do is check if if the count variable eq means equal to and you can look at the comparison operator link that will be available with this video and that I've covered over the last few videos as well for different you know comparison operators such as you know greater than not equal to less than that sort of stuff but if it equals to five then this little bit of code is going to get triggered for a semicolon and now you put then so whatever's here will get triggered if this condition is met and I'm gonna say break and to end the if statement you just put fi so if i save that and if i run that we only get one two three four so what happens is it goes through the you know one two three four as soon as this count is four and one gets added to it it's now five five is equal to this hard-coded value five and what break does it literally exit out of the wall statement so any code afterwards so if i was to put a quick echo and say end of script if i say that it still runs all the code afterwards so it basically ends this particular loop what you can also do is instead if i change this to continue instead so i'm actually going to leave the break among comments here because this will be part of the source code and if I run that, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we don't have 5. So what happens is, if it hits a continue, it skips over the rest of the code for that iteration of the loop and keeps going. And because it's already been incremented, hence why it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, skips, prints in a 5, goes to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's it. That's it for the break and continue statement. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.